Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for your one-stop shop of buying or selling coins and solo grinding services. Use code ZERK at checkout for 10% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and as you guys can see we do have the new Jalen Smith on the team. I'll show you guys the stats in just a second but this is the offensive side of things in case you guys are curious and then over on the defense we now have that 98 Jalen Smith at middle linebacker. If you power him up he's going to be a 99 overall and honestly like it sucks having Bobby Wagner and Ryan Chase here like the cards are amazing. But when a card like Jalen Smith comes out and as a Cowboys fan, it pains me to know that as much as I love this card, he's not as good as Bobby Wagner or Ryan Shazer. You guys see the stat differences here? Uh, of course, this is with the chem boost on Jalen Smith, so Shazer actually has plus three speed, so he has one more than Jalen, which would be the same if I powered him up. Uh, and of course, the acceleration as well. So Jalen would be faster than both of these guys. Uh, at least he would have more acceleration than Jalen, or the Bobby Wagner if I powered him up as well. So really really good card the big thing though is the block shit he's only got 80 block shit uh but besides that super good user 95 speed 95 excel he also has a 69 catch which isn't the best but it's still pretty good uh jody as well he's a 93 agility that's really good for a user card you guys see also 92 jumping 95 tackling he's six foot two this card is absolutely amazing coverage stats 90 man 95 zone that's freaking nuts and then he also has a 96 hit power this card's gonna be amazing i cannot wait to use this man uh and those are the rest of my middle linebackers and of course the rest of the defense as you guys can see it is looking absolutely beautiful with that 99 aaron donald 97 khalil mack which yes i still have to pick up that uh team mvp mack once i do we should be 99 overall so my defensive line and my defense in general is gonna be looking stacked also, my power of Jamal Adams just to have a better strong safety there unless Adrian gets another upgrade sometime soon. But with that being said, let's get into the gameplay. Of course, I had to throw on the Cowboys uniforms for the gameplay with Jalen Smith, and he looks like an absolute monster. Look how quick he is. Okay. I really just got juked out on the very first play. That was bad. I also have unfakeable on him, so uh, I don't know how he got juked out there. Shouldn't have uh, got juked out unless it was just my bad with the user. But that was not how I expected that play to go. Let's see if we can get a user pick here, though. And wow, he is really... Whoa! Okay, Lawrence Taylor with the interception. Are we going to make this a pick six? Okay, I don't, I don't really know what happened there. You guys see just how fast Jalen Smith was on that play covering, but... <laughs> This dude, I believe the ball went off his offensive lineman's head, and then LT just picked it. He probably has Gunslinger on, and honestly, sometimes that will happen if you use Gunslinger. It's kind of a broken chemistry, and I say that with me using it still, so I should probably get rid of it as well. It looks like he's sending a little bit of a blitz. Going to reroute X, though. Find him wide open. Randy Moss all the way down to the six. Let's even find Jerry open here for the touchdown. I'm going to try to high point this. Back of the end zone, Jerry Rice for the touchdown. And guys, I do want to start an all-time Cowboys team at some point eventually. So I might hold on to this Jalen Smith, or actually I might sell him and uh, do like the NAT packs because I do want to get Jalen eventually on the team. So I'll probably end up doing some NAT packs as a good play there. Because there's a couple guys I want to get, Jalen Smith, uh, Khalil Mack, and maybe Von Miller as well. So I might look into doing the NAT MVP pack opening pack opening nat pack opening and see if i can get any of those three guys as oh my goodness he is wide open thank you sean Jalen did cost quite a bit to complete his set i did the set i think for around 600k uh, i think the cheapest one up on the auction like the time was like 750 so i did the set for a little bit cheaper i could just sell them back make a little bit of profit see if we can get a stop here Jalen smith good play shay zero but i think i actually would have picked that the only problem is that if i decide to keep Jalen, honestly he won't ever play just because bobby and Shazier are both better cards, so as much as I want to keep him, he won't even see the field. But I definitely have some pretty cool series ideas involved with maybe the all-time Dallas Cowboys team trying to take them all the way to a Super Bowl, as if that would have been intercepted. Third and 12, though, let's see if we can pick this first down. We are in field goal range, so as long as we don't take a sack here, everything should be okay. Let's try and reroute someone maybe to the right side. Jerry Rice, good catch, go field and doesn't get the first so we're up 10 nothing and i'm trying to get at least one user pick here 
with Jalen Smith or a couple of tackles. See what he's going to be able to do here as he's thrown to the flats and Adams popped him. That Jamal Adams card has played so good for me. I really thought about powering him up, but the only problem is that once Adrian gets another upgrade, uh, he's probably never going to see the field again. So we're going to have to see about that as it looks like he's going to the outside. Jalen Smith trying to tackle him from behind and just a little bit too slow as Ricky falls forward. I know Ken boosted up, Jalen will be a 99 overall on my team, and he would be a little bit faster than like Ryan Shazier or Bobby Wagner, or at least until Shazier goes to 99, but the only issue is that I had to power him up. And then of course the block shit. So if you guys are going to pick up this Jalen Smith card, I definitely would say try to avoid running into any blocks because he's only got like 80 block shed. That's not very good at all. He's going to be passing the ball here to the outside more than likely. And he throws it down below to Ricky Williams. And Jalen gets the strip. And Adrian's going to recover this one and take it all the way to the 46. I believe Jalen Smith does have the strip ball trait as well as the big hitter. So Jalen Smith coming up huge there with that. We're actually running a QB draw. Let's see if we can get this going here. QB draw, see if we can plug Sean Taylor. And why did I stumble? The run Sean Taylor middle linebacker is straight cheese, and I actually love it. I probably should do the same as well. For me, he's got 99 speed, 99 hit power, and like 95 block shed. He's like the ultimate middle linebacker, as it looks. So he might have Jerry, and he dropped it. Fourth and seven, we're going for it. See if we can pick up this first down. It uh, looks like we might have A open. Kittle, and he got the first down, juking out a defender down to the 33. Not a good play there for him, leaving the flats open like that. I'm going to run a halfback draw, see if we can get the run game going a little bit. Haven't really been able to do much in the run game, as we're going to run it here with Gurley, and he's going to fall forward for about three. I'm just trying to take the top off the defense here, see if Kittle can just streak down the field and possibly get a touchdown. He's running cover two, so he might be open here, as nope, and oh my god, okay, Vic just broke up a sack, we just got bailed, and I'm scrambling with Michael Vic, picking up about 20 yards. Trust me, I know. I got super lucky right there. There's no doubt about it. I got super, super lucky. Uh, and it looks like, unfortunately, Randy Moss is not, or actually, uh, Jerry Rice is not in the game. So I don't really have my high point fade here. But you know what? I'm going to try it's Tyreek Hill, and Tyreek's going to get the touchdown. And it looks like that's actually going to be the end of this game. If he quits the game, we'll get into another one. Let's get into another one. So unfortunately, our first opponent did quit out, but as you guys can see, we now have the throwback Cowboys uniforms on. I'm happy we actually got to use these as Edelman. Oh my God, Edelman hasn't beat. Let's go, Julian. 23, unfortunately, we took a sack in the last play, so let's see if we can get into field goal range here, basically. I don't think anything's going to be open deep down the... Oh man, okay, you know what? Julian, go get that. I had to try. I thought Jules had him. Looks like he's probably going to be running the ball here with Barkley on the first play, and he is going to be running the ball. Stuff that to the outside. Good play. It seems like a lot of people, when they first come out, try to run the ball to see if you can establish that run game as another great play there from Adrian. So I know this guy likes to throw to his running back a lot in the flats, and it seems like Barkley is going to be his running running back, and Barry looks like his receiving back. So I'm expecting a run play here. Is he going to run it with Barkley? He's making a lot of adjustments. Let's see if he's actually going to run it or not. I'm still expecting a run, but I don't understand why he's trying to chew clock all the way down to like three seconds. And he actually is going to be passing the ball here. See what he's going to go to over the middle. Nothing is open. Let's see if he's going to try to throw this route. That. No, give me that. EA, I, I don't understand this game, man. You guys know. I didn't hold wide there. And for some reason, it gave me a bad Tommy drop pick, which they said should never happen with a user with good catching. Jalen has almost 70 catching. How does he drop that? That makes absolutely zero sense there. But Jalen Smith, once again, let's see if we can get another user pick. He's throwing to his running back, Sean Taylor, coming in for the tackle. I'm going to put Khalil Mack out here as a QB spy. So he can kind of keep his eye on him Mahomes. And also, if he throws over the middle, it should be an interception. As it looks like nothing is going to be open. Go get him, Khalil Mack. He's trying to reroute someone, and that's going to be a sack. I'm honestly expecting to throw it to Barry Sanders. It seems like that's his number one target when Barry is out here, is in fact his running back. So I'm going to try to watch over him with Jalen Smith, and hopefully we can just cover over the middle with uh, Ryan Schuster. So fourth and ten, it looks like Barry's going to the outside, and we get the hit. Still pretty upset about that dropped user pick. That should not have been a dropped interception. Pretty ridiculous that uh, Jalen didn't come away with that one. But let's try to run the ball here, see if we can establish a run game as Gurley hits the outside, spins, and picks up about eight. I'm running a screen pass here on third and two. I don't think he's expecting it. I don't think a lot of people run a screen pass all the way down here at the 28-yard line. So hopefully he doesn't expect it, and it actually looks like his defensive end just kind of read it. But I'm going to try to take a run, and Mike Vick is going to pick up the first. 
Okay, third and 11. Let's see if we can make our way into the end zone here. Otherwise, we're probably going to take a field goal. Jerry Rice back of the end zone for the touchdown. Let's see if we can make a play here with Jalen Smith. Uh, I was actually expecting a run play there. All over that drag. And oh, we got the tip pass. Jalen Smith with the interception. I guess that makes up for the first one we should have had. I thought Shazier was going to have the pick there. And it looks like our opponent as well is probably going to be leaving this game. Is he leaving? Let's see. Unfortunately, our opponent as well did quit out, but I hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. I really wish that Jalen would have got that one interception. I feel like he should have got it. But overall, you can see from like his speed, he is a really, really good coverage linebacker. Uh, in the run game, the blocks, you can tell he doesn't have the best blocks yet. But overall, I definitely like the card. I'm not just saying that as a Cowboys fan, I think I actually do like the card. As we get a thousand training here from our daily quick sell. That's pretty nice there. And we're currently 5-0 in uh, our road to the playoffs. So we could possibly make the playoffs here and then get those rewards for the Super Bowl win. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Let me know down below your guys' opinions on the new Jalen Smith. And if there's any more gameplays you guys would like to see, let me know down below who you'd like to see. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.